You are now watching Hoodoo TV. This is Hoodoo TV. We're at Emerald City Comic Con with Ibrahim Mustafa. Hello. Thank you for joining us, man. My pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, man. Well, I got that commission cover from you. It's always sitting in the back of the studio, Savage. I uh, appreciate it. it, man. So That was a fun one. Right. We enjoy his work. Uh, one of our first videos was your book with uh, Justin Jordan. Um, Savage right. Things. Yes. So, and the trades out, that's completed. Correct. Yeah. All eight issues are have been collected into a, a nice trade paperback. Um, we've got all the lovely John Paul Leone covers uh, as interstitials in there and chapter breaks. And uh, yeah, I think it came out end of January, I want to say. Okay. So yeah. it's in stores now. Yeah. And that, that's a great issue. It's very dark. And, you know, where did, where did, I know some of it came from Justin, but where did that come from to write that or to draw that stuff? You know, uh, a lot of it for me was the appeal of the sort of like the action movie aspect of it. And I, I love working with a lot of ink and shadow. Um, so it, I pretty much poured all that stuff into the pages of that. And it was just the perfect material for it. So, And then you also came in off the Eisner nomination of Jaeger. Yes, sir. So. Um, yeah. And that one I, uh, I printed up. I've got it for sale on my website and here at the show. Uh, Ten bucks. Um, yeah, it's a 48 page complete story and I had it printed up in sort of a prestige format type of, uh, trade paperback. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was one of the best experiences I've had creatively. I got to just kind of do my thing and, and, yeah. uh, get paid for it. It was rad. When you look <laughs> at the print, there's a unique format. Um, Correct. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So originally the, the book was through a digital first publisher, um, and they were geared towards iPhones and, and tablets. Uh, and smartphones in general. So uh, they wanted it to be a vertical scroll because, you know, that's how we look at news and Twitter and Facebook and all that. Um, so each panel couldn't be more than the width of, you know, a phone screen, essentially. So what some people did was do a continuous scroll, even panels that just kept going and going and going. I knew that I was going to want to print it later. Um, so I drew it in a way that worked for both. So essentially... Each page is sort of made up of a four panel grid, but then smaller panels within, or sometimes I would do, you know, a full page uh, length. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really challenging project to try to figure out because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of comics is all about visual storytelling. Right. So the pacing and the, the moment to moment stuff, it has to read a certain way and it has to read in order. And you generally don't want to, you know, if you have a page, you generally don't want to stack panels in this corner right. when you're reading it. So, you know, because that can screw people up with their reading order. So there was a lot of thought and effort that went into how that page was going to come out. Um, but I'm happy with the end result. And yeah. I think it, it's it's cool to have made something that, you know, sort of uh, embraces this new era of technology based, uh, you know, media that works on both uh, yeah. levels. So. Fantastic book. Could you give us a little of the concept of that book? Yeah. So uh, it's about a French Algerian spy who uh, worked with the Allies during World War II. Um, and this is all pretext for the book, but he was held in a Nazi prison camp. Uh, so now, you know, post war, uh, he's dealing with a lot of, you know, demons and PTSD and, and the fact that a bunch of Nazis escaped, you know, scot free. So he's going around hunting them and, um, uh, and basically not doing a very good job of covering his tracks because he doesn't care. <laughs> right. uh, so one of his old former colleagues from the special operations executive, which was the precursor to MI6 back then, mm -hmm. she comes to him and she's like, look, I'm with MI6 now. We know what you're doing. Uh, officially, you shouldn't be doing this. Unofficially, uh, the prime minister is pissed off that um, these guys got away. And uh, some of them, in order to escape, filed de false death certificates. She's like, so technically these guys don't exist, mm -hmm. but we know they're still alive. So your job is going to be to go take them out because you can't get in trouble for killing a dead man. Right. Right. So he's he's hunting them down and, and it's all based in the real facts of how Nazis escaped. Uh, so it's kind of a globe trotting adventure that, you know, while he's doing this, he's trying to find the guys who are torturing him and kind of enact his revenge on them and. So it's a, so it's a revenge story, but it's also about redemption and trying not to become the same monsters that he's hunting. So that's awesome. And so the success of this, you and I have talked off air. This kind of led to one of your dream characters, your dream jobs. Yes. So uh, I'm obsessed with James Bond. So <laughs> uh, Dynamite 
Entertainment has been doing just an amazing slate of James Bond uh, titles. And um, the opportunity came up to write and draw a, uh, a James Bond holiday special mm -hmm. uh, that came out November 22nd of 2017. It's called James Bond Solstice. It's an oversized 30-page one-shot um, that uh, is basically... You know, I didn't want to make it like a James Bond Christmas story. Mm -hmm. So it's it I I decided to, you know, kinda of ask myself, what are the themes around Christmas? Generally giving and family. And Bond has a very special relationship with M. Mm -hmm. uh, more so in the novels especially. He kinda of looks at him as like he kinda of loves him like a surrogate father, right? right? And Bond's an orphan, so right. he doesn't really have family. Um, so M asks him to help him handle a personal matter. And uh, so Bond heads to Paris to to take care of business and i don't want to spoil it because yeah. there's some some stuff in there that you kind of don't really see coming hopefully um but yeah so that's available at shops and online 4.99 for a, a complete 30 page story and definitely multi-talented i mean doing art writing are we going to see more of that combo of you doing both I, i'm hoping so um you know it's kind of a it's kind of a ladder you have to climb mm -hmm. and um you know i'm basically just trying to beef up the uh the portfolio with that kind of stuff and and keep the train rolling so and uh so what are we going to see from you in the future uh currently i'm working on uh, dc's mother panic which is part of their young animal line um for those who don't know she is uh, a character named violet page and she is a um a, a gotham vigilante so her book you know batman features in her book um but it's also an r-rated book young animal kind of straddles the line between dc and vertigo um, so it takes place in the DC universe, but there's F words in it. Right. Um, and she's like really nonplussed by Batman. Like she flips him off one of the issues and stuff. It, um, so yeah, uh, there was an event called milk wars in the, in the young animal universe. Um, so post milk wars, it's a weird title, but you got to check it out cause it's pretty cool. Um, post milk wars, she is in sort of an alternate future Gotham. Okay. So she's trying to navigate that and she's finding alternate versions of like the people that she knows. And we get, it's almost like an Elseworlds title, honestly. We're okay. going to do a really cool world building within this Gotham. So we've got that version of the Joker and that version of Catwoman and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I think people would really dig it. And, and it's not something you have to have read the first 12 issues of because okay. uh, we're relaunching with a new number one, a new universe. Okay. But the book is fantastic. I was reading it as a fan before they even offered me the gig. So I, I highly recommend that people check it out. And that's going to be continued written by Jody Hauser? Correct, yeah. Okay. And Jody, who's a prolific and phenomenal writer, is just killing it on this book, and I'm having a blast drawing it. So uh, the first issue, Gotham Panic, or I'm sorry, Mother Panic, Gotham AD number one, okay. drops uh, Wednesday, March 28th. Oh, wow, just around the corner. Yeah, just around the corner, man. That's awesome. And so now you've done 007. Yes. You're doing Mother Panic, Elsewhere, Batman, Gotham City. Um, what project would you want to do after I've done, done those? My holy grail is Superman. Okay. Yeah. I, Superman is the whole reason I got into comics. And, you know, I used to watch the movies when I was little. I was drawing them as a kid. I got into the comic books and then eventually, you know, that dovetailed into becoming a comics artist. So that's that's the pie in the sky right there. Okay. So Superman it is. So I don't have to ask the Batman or Superman question. We know the answer. So Who would win in a fight? Yeah. Oh, Superman. He could lobotomize right. Batman from, from a mile in the, the air. I don't know why this is even a question. I, I, I mean, but <laughs> People debate it yeah. all the time, right? It's I'm like a, I'm a huge Martian the Manhunter fan. Yes, I and love Martian Manhunter. that's one that Superman says, you're the only one that compares to me. Yeah. So yeah. that's one where we could have that's, an That's a fair, that's a good, that's, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that. For all the right. <laughs> and then I like to ask, you know, what are you reading? Oh, man, that's a great question. You know, the funny thing that happens when you're making comics especially drawing them because it's so time consuming, you find a lot less time to read them. Um, definitely the, all the Bond stuff. Right. I, I'm spoiled with how many great titles are out there right now. Um, Super Sons has been a favorite of mine over the last year or so. Mm -hmm. um, Superman's been really great. Um, uh, Thanos Wins has been a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the new mutants with... Uh, Matt Rosenberg and uh, Adam Gorham drawing it. It's gonna oh. be it's gonna be fantastic. That's a good pairing. It's yeah. excellent. Yeah, Adam's one of the best, man. Yeah. I, is, I'm really and and Matt is just such a brilliant writer. This is and Michael Garland on colors too. Ooh, Garland, He's another yeah. guy to, to look out for. So okay. yeah, uh, it's, it's gonna be a good one. That's cool. And then I like asking, uh, you know, let's say if you could only have one, um, let's go with Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. 
best sidekick, Sam Wise or um, oh Ron Weasley? Yes. Uh, Sam Wise. Because he brings potatoes, yeah. bro. The, oh, Ron dude. Weasley just turns into a rat and doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> you know awesome. what I mean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek. Star Wars. Solo or Luke? Luke. Awesome. He's got the lightsaber, man. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. And I want to thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you Where for having me. Where can our viewers find you at? Uh, I'm on Twitter at, 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 <laughs> at Ibrahim underscore M underscore. And that's I-B-R-A-H-I-M. Um, and then, uh, my website is, uh, Ibrahim, the art of Ibrahim Mustafa dot blogspot dot com. There's a link in my Twitter. Let's go there. I'll put a link down in the yeah, description. Yeah, it's left to type. Awesome. Uh, and then I've got, uh, a bunch of, uh, James Bond sort of one-off movie posters I made for fun based on each film, uh, on a site called Redbubble. That's also linked on my Twitter. So okay. people can find that there if they want to check them out. So. Awesome. Go get Mother Panic in a couple weeks into March. So. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like as well. We want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, we want to thank our friends at Outright Geekery as well. Uh, check us out there. Thanks, guys.